Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Cosmonautica. Now, I know it's been quite a while since I've done an episode about this game, but as I said, it's not a very big game and well, now they brought brought out an update about half a month ago, I think in the, the beginning of uh, what was that? March, I think or no, the beginning of April, I guess, or the end of March. They uh they brought out another update, which actually brought a lot of uh, new features to the game, which I really want to explain to you guys. So, as you can see, I've been playing this game for quite a while at the moment. Um, well, not quite a while. I, I played for about three days straight, I think. Uh, it was good fun, but... I still have a couple of issues with this game, which I'll get to later on. For now though, let me, let's get over to a shipyard and, and see what we can do. As you can see, I've also bought a different ship from, uh, what's this? Oh yeah, this again. Uh, better call Saul. Um, so I got a different ship. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger than the last one I had. I've actually put on some turrets here. I also have a hacking room. Uh, something we'll get to later on as well. And um, yeah, we'll see how, you know, what I can show you. So in this, oh yeah, let's turn this speed up because normal speed is ridiculously slow. It'll take you forever to get there. As you might notice, uh, things are also going a bit faster with my ship because they've actually added the ability to do, uh, upgrade rooms and also just you have to research rooms now. You don't have all the rooms from the beginning, but you have to uh, research them and unlock them in that way. So the science lab has become a lot more important even from the start of the game, which I really like because the science room was a bit useless in the beginning. So it's nice that they added that in the update, though apparently that was always the plan for people to have to research all the rooms they have. So let's jump into the ship editor here. The Manatide is the mighty ship I have. Um, now I'm actually thinking about buying a new one because look at the ridiculous amount of money I have. Uh, 1,742,248 credits which is a pretty fair amount so let's go to the ships here now this is the one i have and that is actually a really good ship um now this is the best one the stingray or it should be the best one it's at least oh no it's not the most expensive one the shark line is uh the most expensive one though i want to show you something again uh, one of the issues I have with this game, even though I like the concept of it, again, uh, one of the issues I have with this game is that it is somewhat unbalanced still. There are uh, a lot of features in this game, but a lot of them you won't use just because it's not the best option despite it being um, the most expensive or maybe it even looks like the most fun, but it's just not the best way to do it. So, as you can see here, um, this is the one I have. It has 42 rooms, it has two uh, turret slots and one torpedo slot. Now, if you check out the other ones... Oh, this one is actually better. I hadn't seen that. The Cracoon. Maybe I'll buy that one. That one has 55 slots. Mm, this one is... No, I have the one above that. So. At the moment, I have yeah, 42 slots, 2 turret slots, and 1 torpedo slot. Let's see if we can top that. Now, the thing is, with the 2 turret slots and the 1 torpedo slot I have, I already have all the fire firepower I need. Like, honestly, the only thing you really need at the moment is the torpedo slots. Like, the torpedoes will get rid of any opponent you face like i've not have had i haven't had any issues with uh not be, being able to handle an enemy so more guns like the shark shark alarm for instance which has a ridiculous amount of guns it might get the job done a lot faster but like i said one torpedo slot is all you need really so actually uh 
Before I was really interested in Sharkland, but I think the Cocoon will do us a lot better with more cargo space and um, the same amount of guns. So let's buy this and let's see um, let's see about kitting our um, our ship out here. So first things first, um, let's get the cozy dose quad cabin in there. Now let's position this right behind the cabin here because this is the most most used room so you want easy access to that one. Apply, excellent. Um, so again, these are all rooms you won't have at the beginning of the game. Uh, I'll show you the research tab later on. Um, so now let's first... Uh, Let's first set up our ship here. Let's put in this one, the Rinse and Dump. Lovely name, isn't it? Um, let's put that... Um, just let's put it over here or... Oh, oh, what am I doing? No, no, no. Let's cancel that. Oh, that was too much. Actually, let's put in the guns first because the guns need to go at specific spots in the ship. So let's put the Twin Fire Turbo turret so as you can see I can only put them here and here let's put in those two there we go and now let's also put in the torpedo bay do we need torpedo bay yeah torpedo bay here we go and that'll also go in one specific spot here we go apply and let's buy some ammo slots Apply again. You don't need a ridiculous amount of ammo slots because um, about three torpedoes or four, I think. Oh no, 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 no! About three or four to torpedoes is all you need to take down the ship. So you don't need to worry about uh, getting a ridiculous amount of ammo. Not necessary at all. So let's apply those. Okay, excellent. So we put in the weapons. Let's put in the living spaces. Uh, we already had the cozy quad cabin and the rinse and dump for their toilet needs and hy hygiene needs. Let's put in a... Let's put in a kitchen. I actually never put in a kitchen. I put in the... Sna or, mm, actually, I'm gonna... Again, like the, the candlelight cuisine... Uh, you have this option to buy it, but it's not necessary. Like, you, your your crew is perfectly happy. Like, all their uh, food needs get met with this snack box. So why would you buy a huge kitchen uh, that you don't really have a need for? Uh, and and also on top of that, if you would get a kitchen, you would also need to get a cook, with, with, which would cost more money, but really with no benefits. So... We don't really need that. Um, so facilities. We need a, a lab to research uh, more space. Let's put that down here. Apply. And let's also... Uh, so we have... What do we have? We have the science lab. Again, the seats. You don't... You never really... Uh, you never really... I, well, I at least never really do the transport missions because they pay nothing at all and it's just a waste of space, really. This is really good, though. Buy the pill and go uh, because, again, you don't need a medi, uh, medi bay if you have this pill bay. Uh, people have all their uh, medical needs met with this pill bay, so let's keep it at that. Um, Medibay, as I said, not needed. Hack center is needed, though. Um, the hack center, what was it for again? Um, oh yeah, you can take down enemy shields with that, even though I haven't really, you know, been able to use that. Though I do, I have noticed that it is a lot easier to get in uh, places with illegal goods and. Enemy ships seem to detect you a lot less fast, so I'm gonna put that one in. Uh, let's... Oh, no, no. Why cancel? Um, let's uh, put in just one. It's fine. I wanna put this one... Let's put it um, here. And then I'll put... 
Where is it? So we have the hex center and then we'll put the clean body. So then again, seeing as it's a robot, it doesn't really need to be around the the crew. So let's put it here. Apply. Um, let's put the fix bot just over here. There we go. Recreation. So I do have some crew members who have the need for entertainment. So let's give them what they want and put in a gym just up there. And I think there was one guy who needed entertainment. So let's put in the theater just over here. Apply. There we go. Uh, so do we have everything we need? So let's maybe move this one over here. Yeah, that's okay. And I think we'll just fill up the rest with with um, the the regular uh, storage facilities, the, the cargo hold. So let's fill all the rest here up with cargo. And we are gonna have a ridiculous amount of space which we will never be able to fill up. Excellent. Um, maybe I will put in the seats just for the sake of it because as I said, like... At the moment, the game is still very unbalanced and you have more space than you really need at the moment. Like, I'll never be able to fill up all this space. Um, so let's go and fill this up anyway, just to get some, you know, just to get it all filled in. There we go. Oh wow, look at that, trying to follow. So yeah, with the new updates, there have been some frame rate issues and some crashing issues again, which wasn't in the last update of March. Uh, it worked very smoothly then, it wasn't um, having any issues, but right now it is struggling a bit more again. So, we did all that, we have our ship all decked out. Um, Four crew members is really all you need. I have one pilot, so let's open the note here. The note is where it seems to be having the most problems at the moment. Um, like when you open this when you're in travel, then it will almost most certainly crash your game. So don't do that. Um, so here we have our crew. This is my pilot. His tasks are in work shifts to pilot in battle. Same because, well, you need a pilot. Um, then we have, in the work shifts, this one is doing science, and in battle she's operating shields, which you also need somebody for. I didn't know about that, now I do. Here we have um, our lady hacker, Deb, what is it, Debra? Debra. Yeah, so Debra is doing some hacking, and in battle she's operating a turret, and this bald guy, Dante, he is operating a torpedo in battle, and in work shifts he's also doing science. Um, so, four people are all you need. Uh, you don't need a cook, you don't need anybody to clean, um, you no don't need anybody for as a medic, um, as I said, the medic is taken care of by the, what's it called, the, the pill thing here. Uh, the cleaning is taken care of by this robot, the fixing is taken care of by this buddy bot. Though I also, I think I also put somebody on cleaning or did I take, uh, on uh, repairing or did I take them off? Yeah, I think I took, there's nobody repairing and to be honest the ship is staying in perfect condition when I'm traveling like this robot is taking care of all its repair needs so no need to uh, to get you know to get a, a somebody for repairs uh, maybe in the beginning you can get them but once you can afford and have researched the the fix bot get the fix bot get the clean bot and you can already scratch to uh, employees of your list and as you can see we can carry plenty of ammo now I'll put 16 torpedoes in there which will fill up both so you have 37 slots but that is all your ammo slots so if I buy 37 uh, uh, torpedoes I won't be able to buy any bullets even though I could possibly do that but I like uh, the option to be able to switch it up. So now I still have 690 bullets. So that is more than plenty, as I said before. Um, okay, so I think we're 
almost coming to an end of this episode, so let's maybe quickly jump into the research notes here. Um, so now they they've made some significant changes actually in the research. So when you first start off um, in the purchase tab here, you will only have the most basic of things to buy. You can only buy the the, the twin cabin. So for two people, uh, you can buy the the basic toilet, but without a shower. And you can buy a snack box, and that's about it. You can buy, and then you can buy also cargo hold and the science lab. And I think I think that's all you can buy really at the beginning. So then you have to open up the notes and oh, there we go. Open up the note and here in rooms and facilities you can research everything. Uh, so you also have some extra features. For instance, camouflage. Uh, de decreases custom scan um, detection or was it efficiency so um, you have all these smaller features which you can uh, uh, basically upgrade your rooms with and uh, for instance double hull will increase room structure durability so it uh, tears down uh, a lot less fast and when you when you did when you research one of these things, often it will it will affect other rooms as well. For instance, noise I insulation affects the twin cabin, but also the quad cabin. And um, there's loads of stuff where when you research it, let me can I click this? Yeah. For instance, here this double fits. If I if I research BM, it will also have an effect on the Medi Bay. And this double fit will what is it? Oh, add, add one active space for exercising, and I'm guessing that's also needed for the medibay to make extra place for, I know, I guess, sick people. So that's pretty interesting, like, I like the way they did that, the, the way you have to research everything, and the way you can also upgrade certain rooms, which is really cool. I, I, I like that functionality they added in, so... Um, when, okay, here we are. Um, so as I said, the the science lab is a lot more important now because you have to research everything. With the quick tech is really interesting because it really speeds up a lot. Be because for instance, um, I can't remember which room it was exactly, but there was a room that took, I think it was like 60... 60 days or something to research which is, which is really long and once you get that speed upgrade most things like I think the max something will take is about 15 days so that's a huge difference uh, so you want to get that quick tech and also something which is brilliant is the accelerator which will increase your ship speed and um, once you get um, all the rings here like if you have to go to this outside ring at the moment oh that's a really weird number actually uh one point dollar sign okay uh they're getting a bit weird like why one one batman sign green distance that's not a distance so okay there's something wrong here uh let me just quickly travel to the closest by pl planet maybe that would travel 0, 0.0 that makes no sense oh because i'm on that planet uh, okay that was stupid that's 0, 0.0 as well and that as well um okay am i just instantly traveling between planets okay so i guess i won't be doing any travel this episode look at how fast i'm traveling okay no that's that's a problem in uh the game i guess something must have gone wrong so i wanted to, tr to give you a couple quick more you know trade tricks uh there has been a mission that has been added in with the update i don't know if it's been added in actually or, or if i just noticed um this time around but um i definitely want to explain a bit more about missions and how to make these big bucks here like you can see um so yeah you saw my ship my ship is awesome at the moment i have loads of cargo space 
Um, so next episode I will probably go a bit more in-depth on how to make these big bucks. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna call it quits. I hope I was able to provide some insight on the mechanics of this game and I hope that with the next update, which is coming out in 16 days, that they'll be able to make this game a bit more stable again and they'll add a bit more functionality in again. Uh, maybe by next episode I'll also research a bit about the updates because I do think they posted somewhere what's, uh, what's gonna be added in the next update. Um, so anyway guys this is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye now!